Hello students, welcome to the channel Top Gate. Today we are going to discuss one topic of Turing machine that is combining Turing machines. And in this combining of Turing machines, we will uh, try to design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to SS. Okay. So first of all, let's try to understand what is combining Turing machines and then we'll go on to the designing of the Turing machine. Okay. So sometimes when we have to design a Turing machine and uh, that designing is so complex that we cannot do it in one go. Okay, so what do we do? We divide this task, we divide this complex task into sub-tasks. Okay, and one by one we'll complete all those tasks and finally all those tasks will be incorporated into a single task and a final Turing machine, final product we will be getting. Okay, now in this one we have to design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to SS. Okay. Now, if you go back to my previous videos, so in that uh, videos, I have discussed that uh, a similar kind of problem that is to design a Turing machine for the language L is equal to WWR. Okay. Now, what is the similarity between this one and this one? Uh, the similarity is in this language, the in the first part of the string, we have any combination of A and B. So, suppose if we have A, B, B in the first W, then the second part of the string we will be having is B, B, A. That is the first part and then the reverse of the first part okay now we if we analyze this we know that the first part of the string is equal to the last part of the string okay and the second part of the string is equal to the second last character of the string so we we go in this way but in this one if we see that suppose we have s suppose we have in the first s we have a b b okay the second part is again a b b okay now we have to compare this character with this one this character with this one this character with this one okay now we only can compare this character with this character when when we know that this is the center of the string okay if we know that this is the center of the string then only we can compare this part with this part otherwise if we don't know what is the center in this case then we can compare this a with any character okay so first of all we have to identify that what is the center of the string okay so that is we have to divide the string into into two halves okay so first of all if we have to divide the string into two halves we have to make sure that the length of the string is even now why even because if in the first s you take the uh, length of a b as 2 that is an even number then 2 plus 2 will be getting 4 so 4 is an even number if i take the length of the first s as an odd number that is 3 suppose so 3 plus 3 is 6 so in any case i'll be getting the even length in this case okay so for even length i need to make sure that the string is divided into two halves first part and the second part okay now if we are able to do that then only we can compare things now how do we do this the first step is first of all we have to identify the length of the string as an even or odd if it is odd it will never be accepted into this language okay but if it is even then we can go further okay so the first prerequisite is the length of the string should be a even number okay so if this is done we'll go on to the second part the second part says if the length is even then divide the string into two halves okay so first of all we found out that the length of the string is even then second part second step says that now we have to divide this string into two halves that is if we need to compare this a with this a then we have to divide the string into two halves okay that is we need to tell the system that this is the second part of the string so therefore you need to compare this character with the first character of the second part of the string okay so second step i will divide the string into two halves okay and then the third step i will compare this character with this one this character with this one this character with this one fine so these three steps we have to uh, do and i will do all these steps independently and finally i will combine all these steps into a single turing machine okay so let's start doing this one we have to design a turing machine for the language l is equal to ss and what is s s is a combination of a and b including l so let's take a input tape first and in the input tape the string that i'll take will be the same one that is uh, I'll take a blank first and then suppose the string that I take is A, A, B, B, A, that is first part, second part will be again same, A, 
a b b a and then several blanks here okay and the read write here is currently on to the first day okay so let's start doing this one so i'll start with the initial state say q0 q0 is the initial state and the read write here is currently on to the first day so what the first thing is we need to identify is we first have to identify that the length of the string is even if it is even then only we can go on to do the uh, the further steps okay if it is odd we cannot do this fine so what we have to do I'll start with this one. I'll start with the first A and I'll read it and after reading it, I'll change it to X and then I will go on to the right hand side while skipping all these A's and all these B's and I'll go to this blank symbol and from this blank symbol, I'll take a left turn. Okay. And here I'll again change this A to X. So let's say that I will change A to X in this case, B to Y in this case. Okay. So I'll change this A to X, change this A to X, then again come back here change this a to x, change this b to y. So we don't have to look for the pairs right now. We just have to change the characters. And finally, I'll come to the center of the string. Okay, I need to point my pointer to the center of the string. Now, how we will point? I let's see this. Okay, so first of all, I'm getting a. So I'll take a move for a that is if you find a, you should change it to x and go to the right side. So this a will be changed to x and the machine will go on to some state say q1 okay so at q1 what i'm finding i'm finding a b v a a and all those characters so here i'll take a self that is if you find an a leave it as a go to the right side if you find b leave it as b go to the right side so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and finally the pointer will point this blank now okay now for this blank i'll take a move that is if you find a b you should keep it as b and go to the left side so this b will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this a and the machine will go to some state say q2 okay now at q2 what i need to do i again have to read this a and change this a to x because i'm changing a to x now in the end i'll tell you why we are doing this Okay, the main concern is we need to identify that the length of the string is even. Okay, so what I'll do now, I'm finding A, so I'll take a move for A. That is, if you find A, you should change it to X and now go to the left side, don't go on to the right hand side. So I'll take a left move and go to state Q3 this time. Okay, so at Q3, this will be changed to x and the pointer will now point this b now now all these b's and all these a's have to be skipped because i need to again come back to this x and after to the right hand side of this x i'll find my next character okay so here i'll take a self loop that is if you find a keep it as a go to the left if you find b keep it as b go to the left so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this x now Okay, now we are ready for the second iteration. Now we have completed the first iteration. Now we have to start with the second iteration. So I'll again come back to the initial state that is on Q0. And what I'm finding, I'm finding X, keep it as X and go to the right hand side. So this X will be X only and the pointer will point on to this A now. Okay, now at Q0 machine knows that if you find A, change it to X. So this A is found and I'll change this A to X and I'll move forward. And the machine will come on Q1 and the pointer will come on B now. Okay. At Q1 machine knows that A's and B's have to be skipped. So all these A's and all these B's will be skipped. And finally, the pointer will now point this X now. Okay. At Q1, what I'm finding? I'm finding a X now. I'm not finding a B. I'm not finding A. I'm not finding B. I'm finding an X. Okay. So what I need to do? Because I know that to the left hand side of this X, there is my new character. Okay. So what I'll do simply, I will take a move for X. That is, if you find X, you should keep it as X and go to the left side. So this X will be skipped and the pointer will point this B now and the machine is at Q2. Now at Q2, 
मशीन नोज दैट इफ यू फाइंड ए यू शुड चेंज इट टू एक्स वट 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 आई एम फाइंडिंग राइट नाउ आई एम फाइंडिंग अ बी ओके सो वट आई डू आई टेक अ मूव फॉर बी ऑल्सो दैट इज इफ यू फाइंड बी यू शुड चेंज इट टू वाई एंड गो टू द लेफ्ट साइड सो दिस बी विल बी चेंज टू वाई एंड द पॉइंटर विल ना पॉइंट this b and the machine is at q3 now at q3 machine knows that all the a's and all the b's have to be skipped so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and this pointer will now point on to this x now at q3 machine knows that if you find x you should keep it as as x and go to the right side so this x will be x only and the pointer will now point on to the next b now now at q0 machine is at q0 and what i'm finding now i'm finding a b this time i'm not finding a now okay so here i'll take a move for b that is if you find b you should change it to y and go to the right side so this b will be changed to y and the pointer will point on to the next b and machine is at q1 at q1 machine knows that a's and b's have to be skipped so all these a's and all these will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this y okay and the machine is at q1 now control is at q1 now now at q1 i don't have a move for y this time but i am finding a y okay and now previously i was finding x and before that for the first time i was finding b now i'm not finding x i'm not finding b but i'm finding i'm finding a y so here i'll take a move for y also that is if you find y keep it as y and go to the left side so this y will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this b now okay and the machine is at q2 okay so at q2 again what i'm finding i'm finding a b machine knows that if you find a b you should change it to y so this b will be changed to y and the pointer will go on to the left side that is on to this a and the machine will go on to state q3 now okay now at q3 machine knows that a's and b's have to be skipped so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this y now okay now at q3 we have a move for x okay but we don't have a move for y so here only i'll take a move for y also that is if you find a y you should keep it as y and go to the right side so this y will be skipped and the pointer will point on to next b now and the control is at q0 now, now at q0 machine knows if you find a change it to x if you find b change it to y what i'm finding i'm finding a b so this b will be changed to y and the machine will go on to the right hand side and the pointer will now point on to this a okay so at q1 machine knows that a's and b's have to be skipped so right now i'm not finding any b's i'm finding a's only so all these a's will be skipped using this iteration using this move and the pointer will now point on to this y now and the control is at q1 okay now at q1 machine knows that if you find a y you should keep it as y and go to the left side so this y will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this a and the control will go on to q2 this time okay now q2 what i'm finding i'm finding a a it is saying that if you find a you should change it to x machine knows this we don't have to tell anything else now here so machine will change a to x so this a will be changed to x and the pointer will point on to the left hand side that is a and the control goes on to state q3 now at q3 machine knows that a's and b's have to be skipped so this a will be skipped all these a's will, a's will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this y now at q3 machine knows that if you find a y you should keep it as y and go to the right side so this y will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this a now and the control is at q0 okay now at q0 machine knows that if you find a you should change it to x so this a will be changed to x and the pointer will now point on to the next a okay and the control is at q1 at q1 machine knows that if you find a you should skip all the a's so this a will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this x now and the machine is at q1 at q1 machine knows that if you find x keep it as x and go to the left side so this x will be x only and the pointer will now point on 
to this A and the control is at Q2. At Q2 machine again knows that if you find an A, you should change it to X. So this A will be changed to X and go to the left side. The pointer will now point on to this X and the machine is at Q3 now. Okay. Now at Q3, if you find X, you should keep it as X and go to the right side. So this move will be used and this X will be skipped and the machine pointer will now point on to this X now and the control goes on Q0. Now at Q0, what I'm finding now, I'm finding an X this time, but I have a move only for A and B. Okay. Now, if I'm finding X at Q0, this means the first part of the string has been ended. If I find at Q0, if I find A's and B's, then only it means that the first part of the string is still not completed. Okay. So if I'm finding an X this time, that means the first part has already been completed and I am on to the character to which I have already changed it. I have already read it. Okay. So because this is X now, so X means that we have already changed A to X only. That is why we are on to X now. That means we are now on to the starting of the second part of the string. Okay, so at Q0, so what I need to do, I'll simply shift my pointer from here to here and I'll tell my system that this is the ending of the first string. Okay, so what I'll do, simply I will do that is if you find X, keep it as X and go to the left side or I may find Y also. If you find Y, keep it as Y and go to the left side and say some state is there Q4 four okay and the pointer will now come on to this a and say q4 is the final state and we are done okay so the pointer is now pointing on to this x this means that this is the ending of the first part of the string okay fine so if this is the ending that means we have divided the string into two halves this is the first half and this is the second half. So wherever my pointer is, after that pointer, my second string will start and that pointer is the border is the ending of the first part of the string. So the pointer is at A this time and the machine is at Q4. So this is the completion of step one. That is, we have identified that the length of the string is even. Okay. If it was odd, then the pointer would not have been pointed here. Okay. Because suppose this A was there and there was no, no A here. So the pointer will go on to this A and again it will not find any A then it will stuck somewhere here. Okay. It will not go forward from this Q1. Okay. So it will be stuck somewhere here. So if it is pointing on to this X that means the string is divided into two halves and the length of the string is a even number. Okay. So that is the ending of the first part. Now the second part is Second part says, if the length is even, divide the string into two halves. So we have to divide the string into two halves. Now, how to divide this? Because we have all the X and all the Y's. Okay. Now, if suppose we forget that this is the ending of the first part of the string. So what I'll do? So to get rid of this problem, what I'll do? I'll again change everything from here to here to its normal form. Okay. That is, if you find a X here, you should change it to A. If you find Y here, change it to B. Okay. So that means this part of the string will be changed to small a's and small b's and the next part of the string will be x and the y's. Okay. So that is the second R, that is our second step. So second step is we simply have to change this x to a and this y to b and the output of the first Turing machine will become the input of the second Turing machine. So for the second step, the, out, the input that we'll get will be the output of the step one. Okay. So I'll take here only that is Q4. Fine. So I'll take Q4 only because this is the output of the first part of the string and this will become the input for the second step, second Turing machine. Okay. So what I need to do, I just have to change the characters to their normal form. So simply I'll take a self loop that is if you find X, you should change it to A and go to the left side. If you find Y, you should change it to Y and go to the, yeah, sorry, if you find Y, you should change it to B and go to the left side. So all these X and the Y's will be changed and 
So I'll just rub this out. This means that all the characters have been changed now. Okay. And the pointer will now come on to this B now. Okay. So I'll take a move for B. That is if you find B, keep it as B and go to the right side. Okay. So say state Q5. So this will be the final state for the second state second step okay so this is the input that is the output of the first step will become the input for the second step and the output of the second step will become the input of the third step now what is the third step third step is simple we just have to compare this character with this one okay now we know that this is the second part of the string why because this is x now this is x this is y this is y this is x okay so wherever we are finding x x and y y means that is the second part of the string and wherever i'm finding small a's and small b that means that is the first part of the string okay so we simply have to compare this a with x this a with x this b with y this b with y and so on okay and i know that i have changed a to x changed b to y okay so i'll check only for that category okay now in this third step what i'll do i'll simply read these characters and i will change it to some other character okay to show that we have processed this part of the string so what i'll do i'll read this a and i'll change it to say delta and then i will move forward skip all these a skip all these b's and i'll get this x i'll read this x and i will change it to z okay then again i'll come back change this a to delta again i'll go forward change this x to z again i'll come back change this b to delta again i'll go forward change this b to z okay so this means that we have processed this part of the string okay that, that is simple so let's start doing this one that is the third step so third step is i'll start with q5 only okay because the output of the second part will become the input for the third third step okay so at q5 what i need to do i have to read this a and change it to delta go to the right side read this x change it to z and come back again okay so that way i will process so let's start doing this one so at q5 what i'm finding i'm finding a a okay so this a should be changed to say delta and go on to the right hand side and go to some state say q6 okay so this a will be changed to delta and the pointer will point on to the next a now at this point i need to skip everything skip all these a's and all these b's only because i need to find a pair for this a here that is for a i need a x for a i need a x for b i need a y okay so at q6 i'll take a self loop that is if you find a keep it as a go to the right if you find b keep it as b go to the right side so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will point on to this x now okay now this x because i know that we have changed a to x so this must be a only okay so here i'll take a move that is at this point if you find x you should change it to say z and go to the left side so this x will be changed to z this time and the pointer will now point on to this a now and the machine will go on to state q7 now okay now at q7 i need to skip everything so i'll take a self loop again if you find a keep it as a go to the left side if you find b keep it as b go to the left side so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this delta now okay and here at this i'll take a move that is first iteration has been completed now i have to start with the second iteration so therefore i'll again come to the initial state say q5 that is if you find delta keep it as delta go to the right hand side so this delta will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this a now so now at q5 machine knows that if you find a you should change it to delta and go to the right hand side so this a will be changed to delta again and the pointer will now point on to this b now at q6 machine knows that if you find a you should 
keep it as a go to the right if you find b you should keep keep it as b go to the right so all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this z now so what i'm finding right now i'm finding a at q6 i'm finding a x that is if you find x you should change it to z but what i'm finding i am finding a z this time i am not finding a x because this first x has, has already been changed to z so here only i'll take a move for z that is uh, on this help that is if you find a z you should keep it as z and go to the right side so all these z's will be skipped and the pointer will again come on to this x now because we have started the journey for a so i need only x here okay i don't need any y here so i'll only take a move for x so at q6 machine knows that if you find x you should change it to z and go to the left uh, left side okay because uh, on to the right side my work is done so i again have to go for the second right third iteration okay so i'll change this x to z and the pointer will now point on to this z now and the machine will go at state q7 at q7 i don't have a move for z what i'm finding i'm finding a z this time so i'll simply take a move for z that is find z keep it as z and go to the left side so this z will be skipped and after skipping this z all these a's and all these b's will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this delta and machine knows that if you find the delta you should go to state q5 and keep it as delta only and point your pointer to the right hand side so the machine will come at q5 and the pointer is pointing on b now now at q5 i don't have a move for b okay so i'll take a move for b a separate move i'll take okay so i'll take a move for b that is if you find b you should again change it to delta and go to the right side so this b will be changed to delta and the pointer will now point on to the next b and the state will be say q8 this time okay so at q8 what i have to do i have to skip everything okay so i'll take a self loop here that is if you find a keep it as a go to the right if you find b keep it as b go to the right and what else i'm finding i'm finding a z also that is if you find z keep it as z and go to the right hand side so all these a's and all these b's and all these z's will be skipped and the pointer will now point on to this y so here i'll take a move for y only because we have started the journey for b so that's why we need only y we don't need x this time okay so i'll take a move for y that is if you find a y you should change it to z and go to the left side so this y will be changed to z and the pointer will now point on to this left hand side and thus machine will go and state q9 say okay now at q9 i need to skip everything i need to skip these z's i need to skip this a i need to skip this b so i'll take a self loop here that is if you find a z you should keep it as z and go to the left side if you find a, a you should keep it as a and go to the left side if you find b you should keep it as b and go to the left side so this z will be skipped this a will be skipped this b will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this delta now okay so now the pointer is at delta that means we are now ready to begin our next iteration that is the fourth iteration okay so to begin our fourth iteration i again have to come back to the initial state where i'll start my next iteration so from here i'll take a move and i'll come back to the initial state that is if you find a delta you should keep it as delta and go to the right side so this delta will be delta and the pointer will move on to the right hand side that is this b now and the machine is at q5 since we are finding this b so machine knows that it should follow this path okay so machine will follow this path and it knows that if you find b you should change it to delta and go to the right side so this b will be changed to delta and the pointer will now point on to the right hand side that is this a now okay and the machine is at q8 now at q8 machine knows that if you find a you should keep it as a and go to the right side if you find z you should keep it as z and go to the right side so this a will be skipped this these z's will be skipped and the pointer will come on to this y as soon as it uh, comes on to this y machine will take this part that is if you find y you should change it to z and go to the left side so this y will be changed to 
z and the pointer will now point on to this z now and the machine is at q9 now at q9 machine again knows that z's have to be skipped so all these z's will be skipped and the pointer will skip all these z's all these a's it will come back to the delta okay so it comes to delta that means it has to begin its next iteration therefore machine will take this move that is if you find delta you should keep it as delta and go to the right hand side so this delta will be delta and the pointer will point on to this a so now at q5 we have to follow this path okay the so machine will follow this path that is if you find a you should change it to delta and go to the right side so this a will be changed to delta and the pointer will point on to the right hand side that is this z now and the machine is at q6 now at q6 machine knows that all these z's have to be skipped so all these z's will be skipped and the pointer will stop at this x now okay at q6 machine knows that if you find x you should change it to z and go to the left side so this x will be changed to z and the pointer will now come on to the left side that is it will point this z now at q7 machine knows that if you find z you should keep it as z and go to the left side so all these z's will be skipped and all these a's since we are not finding any a's and b's here so all these z's will be skipped and the pointer will now come on to this delta now okay now as soon as it sees this delta machine will follow this path it will come back to the initial uh, state that is q5 so now it is now ready to begin its next iteration fine so now it will come to this state and this pointer will now point on to the right hand side that is to the next z now now at q5 the pointer is pointing z the pointer is pointing z that means the first part of the string is processed completely okay there is no more element left because we are changing the second part of the string to z's and my pointer is pointing to the z now therefore that means we are onto the first element of the second part of the string okay so that means the first part has been completed and we have compared everything now i should go on to the final state since we are not finding any any element here any new element here therefore right now i should go on to the final state therefore i will take a move for z that is if you find a z you should keep it as z and go to the right hand side so say state is q 10 this time and make it as final and we are done okay so this pointer will go on to the right hand side and we are done for the comparison so all the comparison has been done these elements have been changed to delta these elements have been changed to z and the comparison has been done now now if you see this this is the first step we have done this is the second step and this is the third step now the next task that is the most important task is we have to combine all these steps together to get a final turing machine the final product okay so we know that the output of the first step will become the input of the second step the output of the second step will become the input of the third step okay so we have to now combine this so how do we combine this so combining is very easy like you see this here that is the final state is q4 and the initial state is q4 so what i'll do i'll simply remove this one and i will join this one with this one okay so this will q4 that is the output from this one will come to the q4 that is the initial state of this step okay now in this one you see that q5 is the final state here and the q5 is the initial state here so what i'll do i'll simply remove this one and the output from this step will be fed to the initial state of the third step that is the q5 okay so we have joined this one now this is the final state of the final turing machine now the last part that is this is done for the uh, all the all those strings fine now if we take null here that is if we take the value of s as null then the uh, this string will be l will be null only that is we should accept null also in this case so what i'll do i'll simply join this with this one that is if you find a b you should keep it as b and go to the right hand side so this will accept the null string also okay and this is your final product that is the turing machine for the language l is equal to ss where s belongs to a comma b star okay thank you so much